Welcome back on the channel guys, VSD here, when I speak the surprising plot twist... Oh, what a plot twist guys! Samsung just released an updated version of Keys Coffee and this is one of the most beloved models for good luck that allows you to do anything you would like to do with your keyboard. So this version is 1.8.013 and it has a proper change lock, which is really something good and every time I see Samsung working on changelog and providing meaningful changelogs for their own stock applications, I'm almost like about to cry, you know, like just, I'm so profoundly happy. But, right, joke aside, this thing here is the Keys Cafe update for One UI 8, meets the new face of Keys Cafe, based on the valuable feedback from keyboard users. <laughs> keyboard users like what the heck is a keyboard user because i'm just thinking a lot of the guys out there using phones probably using keyboards of course there are always people with special needs i understand but all right keyboard users so they provided feedback very valuable and it's yeah used by samsung as a fuel to provide even more convenient and fun features and of course they added this into this module so main update revamped uh, user interface and home screen changed to a more intuitive design View my user statistic on the home screen. This is something cool, by the way, I'm gonna share it. Today's input statistics, common typos. This is, this is really good, guys. I mean, joke aside, Samsung are really, right, they are on this mountain called Customization Mountain, and they're on the peak, like, just doing crazy, batshit crazy optimization, stock tuning things with, yeah, stock. I mean, that's just enough. Like, almost nobody else is really oh, touching what Samsung are able to provide us, right? So this is really a very useful feature. It's gonna give you your most common typos, most frequently used words today, word canvas, and hence keyboard customization. Here we're talking guys, create and save multiple keyboard themes simultaneously, which means at the same time, expanded customization of key shapes and colors, added gesture motion customization feature, new gesture customization features. You know, guys, th th there are so many things I would like just to open it and show it to you. And I'm gonna play a video here of how it used to look like, because you can see this thing, yeah, nothing really in common, guys. Like the first thing you start is now you have a home menu that has this better banner, right? And it doesn't really look remotely the same as it used to be, which is good, which means, yeah, we have some new things. And um, let me just show you, this thing is absolutely gorgeous, guys. Today's input, it says 47 WM typing speed and 327 words. What happens when I click here, guys? I'm gonna get this fancy animation showcasing my typing speed. And um, this is, I guess, 47 words per minute, I think. I think it is, but yeah, maybe it would have been better like to push, put a short legend or just like a hover menu. Anyway, input words, guys, 327 words, and it took me 414 seconds to enter them. And this is even better, guys. Total input count, total delete count, and average input length. All right, so none of this thing here is clickable, but I can go and check my typing speed, my like typing report for the day before and the day before. And you can see, yeah, some of the days I'm typing like crazy. You can see this, right? Like so many, many words. So this is today's input, but let me show you typo analyze because this thing here is, I think, a very useful feature. Why? See here guys, it's gonna give you the highest number of typos. So this is every time I did a typo and I corrected it and it locked it, okay? And you can see that a lot of times I wanna get a comma, I miss hit and I get a space 391 times, all right? Sometimes I get I wanna get like a dot, but then I get a space again and then even some words. I wanna get like a Cyrillic K, but I get a Cyrillic L because they're so close, you can see. Yeah, this is really, really good. I mean, this probably can improve your typing skills um, and besides this is just fun like this whole menu is just fun so we have the, today's input the typo analyze and last but not least guys input word visualization which I turned on but I don't have it right now okay because it should be enabled for the tool to be able to get a data and I can come back in some days it's gonna give me all the words that I've used like the most used words it's gonna collect frequently used words on the keyboard and it's gonna display them as a visualized word canvas. I mean, why not? All right, in today's word, there is no data. So imagine you swear a lot, you're gonna get a lot of <laughs> bad words here. So let's go now to the next menu, guys. Okay, this is gonna be the keyboard menu. A lot of this we already know, so we have plenty of styles that we can use to customize our experience, like this and that, and all the time you click on this, you can just go absolutely crazy. 
colors, effects like this, you know, sounds. I mean, those are like really some things that have been there already. There are also some new things, right? You can click here on the make, and when you click on the make, guys, this is, I guess, where you can just go into even more things and try to edit more, because now I'm able to just make my own keyboard. I think you were able to do this before, right? Now you can edit this, I guess, at the same time. And this thing here, guys, this is batshit crazy. So you can now use design for all gestures, all right? So let's say um, every time I'm typing with the gestures, I want to use this or, or that, okay? So this is, again, it's not no rocket science here, but what what the heck is this? Two finger gesture and three finger gesture. And I can use a two finger gesture, which I pretty much did. And this is really, really good, guys. Let me show you. So I'm here right now, all right? I want to start searching for something and I want to change from English to Cyrillic. So usually I had to hit here, right? Now I can just use two fingers, guys. So I now have a two fingers gesture to change the language, which is very good. And by the way, I'm not limited to do so. I can show height the keyboard header. I can open emoji mode. All right, let's try this. I'm going to go here. So back to the keyboard and this will give me emoji mode. And besides this, of course, there is also open translation mode. All right, let's just go and do this open translation mode. All right, here you see a yeah, enter text to translate. It's getting more and more useful. You can move cursor around you can start the voice input if you want. So there are plenty of things for you to do. And guys, there is also the down gesture, the left gesture, you know, with the two fingers and the right gesture. So you can customize this to a crazy extent. Also use system actions like redo, select all. I mean, you see how many options. And if two fingers are not enough, guys, you can always use a three finger gesture. Now, I don't know really how it's gonna work like with the three fingers. Honestly, this is something that I'll probably never use. Not so ideal, but you have two finger gesture, you have three finger gesture and you have up, down, left and right. I mean, this is enough for one to go crazy in terms of customization. Now, the fun section has been also expanded, so you can apparently create stickers from here, if that's your thing, and you can play some nice games. All right, so again, yeah, nice games, but okay. More fun in keyboard, why not? And then there is this extra order. So apparently those things existed before. The new home screen with the input and the type of analyze and the fact that they've added gestures inside the keyboard. And yeah, this is just great, guys. I mean, this is just great, guys. Let me know what you think down below in the comments, guys. And stay safe. PST over and bye.